See the general appearance of the bioelectrical compass device by which neurophysiological pulses are delivered to the human neural network. There exist application positions at different levels of the spine and torso, and at different distances from the spine. Each access different inputs to the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system through points of the vagus complex and various celiac ganglia, which include neural pathways efferent and afferent. These neural conations extend to numerous organs inclusive of the pancreas and its islets of Langerhans, within which are the insulin-producing beta cells. The inventive bioelectric device is mechanically very versatile, such that different natural pathways can be easily accessed. The positive and negative portions of the waveforms are respectively applied through the positive and negative electrodes of the bioelectrical compass through the sympathetic and parasympathetic system, including the vagus and celiac ganglia, in programmed on or off intervals of specific pulse durations. Within the pancreas are a multitude of positively and negatively charged ions, which provide general nutritional values to all cells, but which also have a specific function with regard to beta cells. It is the inflow and outflow of selected nutrients, but primarily calcium and potassium ions respectively, into and out of the beta cells, which in their normal metabolism provide the principal nutrition for the cell's organelles, internal cellular components, enabling DNA and RNA instructions from the cell nucleus to be facilitated into essential building blocks for the formation and distribution of insulin granules, which then deliver these granules to the cell wall to affect their discharge by a process known as exocytosis. Beta cells, however, cannot function normally in the absence of a proper polarity between the inside and outside of the cell membrane, which ensures a proper alternation of inflow and outflow of calcium and potassium ions. In the absence of a proper polarity, the cell depolarizes and becomes starved for nutrition essential for its normal metabolism. Such depolarization must be prevented to restore a beta cell to its healthy function. We now see an exploded view of components of the electrodes of the bioelectric compass and the manner in which they can readily be assembled and disassembled for service 